are experiencing their first, their first, their first holiday without loved ones, their first holiday without their mother, their first holiday without their children, their first holiday uh, with their husbands or wives on deployment. And some people have passed on. And so, so you guys can say, oh, man, this is a bummer. Don't do that. Don't talk about this. It's a bummer, man. No. What I'm asking you to do is to be mindful of that and to be extra loving, to be extra caring, uh, to to be to 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 decide that that you're you're going to make sure that you represent what this holiday is about, which is uh, Christ and showing love. There's a lot of people out here who are experiencing their first, and uh, you know, even if they're experiencing their second uh, after 2020. Which we're only three years out after 2020. You have to remember that you know a lot of people lost family members. So uh, this is why we we have to become human again. This is exactly why we have to become human again and start realizing, hey, you know, relationships do matter. Relationships with our parents and relationships with our children, relationships with our neighbors matter because you never know what's going to be where, where 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 things are going you never know who needs that extra love give someone a gift uh surprise them with something uh that you, you know they wouldn't even expect that you even acknowledge they existed there are so many people walking around and you have to remember how surface level all of us can be you know we walk around how you doing good how you doing good, good. but think about the people that you know, sometimes feel like no one even notices them. They, their life doesn't even matter. Uh, no one cares for them. And uh, and the matter of fact, if it wasn't for social media, people wouldn't even know they existed. You know, th there's people that feel this way, and we don't want that. We're children of God. You know, we have to be mindful of the things that other people won't be mindful of. We have to be mindful of Season to have a reflection of what type of people we are, what type of people we want to be. You know, what what type of people do we want to be? Do we want to be the type of people that, uh, you know, you know, when we when we look back on our life, do we? Okay, for, I'll give you an example. For me, for example, a lot of people think that I'm a pushover or whatever, and I'm not. The truth is, I want people to know that they are loved more than anything that's what my life is about is making sure that people know that they're loved and i see the struggle how hard just that is you know because people have one people have a different perspective of what love is so that becomes challenging by itself when you're trying to show people love that becomes challenging itself because people have a different perspective of love a different idea of love some people think well if you love me then you have to do everything i want other people think if you love me then I can treat you any kind of way and you'll still be there. No, we're, we're, we're talking about what the Bible says. Biblical love is, you know, being there for each other, having each other's backs, caring for each other. So it's important that we understand that a lot of people are going through things that they don't even understand. And when we go out of our way to show love to people who are hurting and we go out of our way to show love and care to people who uh, don't understand you know what love is or even or, or even believe the lie that they are alone listen folks if you feel like you are alone i want you to know that you're not there are people out there that actually care about you it's all about how you see things so it's very important that everyone and i mean everyone be focused like be love on purpose that's right folks love on purpose you know uh you will be surprised at what how important the love that you show is you know it is that extra smile you know pay for someone's lunch uh if you got an extra five bucks you know uh do something that shows love now at current fm i don't know if you guys have heard the announcement we have an opportunity to not only uh to expand to go up in power and uh, we've got an opportunity to reach more people with the gospel uh you know so we're asking definitely for support at current fm please make sure you you know show current fm some love you know uh also make sure you check out the website currentfm.com if you're watching by uh facebook or youtube or, or any of that i'm trying to pull up actually i can't pull it up right now because my computer's acting kind of weird yeah my computer's definitely acting weird so 
I was going to show you guys the website, but I guess not. Um, I'll, you know, just go to currentfm.com uh, and check that out because I, I do know for a fact, without a doubt, that you guys will understand the, the nature and heart of our ministry and what we do here. Uh, not only are we here to play amazing music, we play the best of, uh, you know, Christian rock, Christian rap, you know, uh, gospel. We play the whole nine. You know, uh, we want to reach as many people as possible, many, as many different types of people as possible. So our, our, our everything that we do is always going to be that theme of reaching as many different types of people with the gospel. That's what we're here for. That's what we're here for you. That's what we want to do. That's that's our life. That's what that's our purpose in life is to. Uh, serve the community and be here for you. So that's WJLZ Current FM. We also have uh, this, uh, hoodies for the homeless where we're trying to get 10,000 hoodies. All right. 10,000 hoodies uh, to the homeless is what we're trying to do. And we need your support doing that. We need your help doing that. So please make sure that you guys are a part of everything that we're doing. Um, you can come to Lynn Haven Mall, hang out with us, and check us out. Uh, Lynn Haven Mall, one Lynn Haven Mall. We're right in front of Michael Kors. Uh, that's where our kiosk is. And everything that you do to, to, to help us, you're helping us build ministry. You're helping us do kingdom work. Um, right now, we're trying to get the television show. We're in the, we're we're trying to get it, uh, the television show by January first. We want that to be the first episode. Hopefully, please be praying for us. Um, Man, we we really miss being on the doing the, the television show. We miss everything that we we're doing. The the television show is about exposing uh, the faith based community, exp exposing all the wonderful things that the church is doing, the body of Christ is doing, uh, talented, gifted Christian artists are doing. You know, and by the way, I I gotta stop and say thank you to Regent University uh, for all of the wonderful things that Regent University does. Uh, Regent is just absolutely amazing. And now I must tell you about the Faith Clothing brand. For all individuals that hustle faith, for all individuals that hustle, folks, such a wonderful organization. Uh, make sure you guys support that. Uh, support faith-based faith -based clothing. We're walking around wearing clothes that promote things that we're not about. We're walking around wearing clothes that promote corporate America when corporate America could care less about what it does or its impact and influence on our children. We have several clothing designers who are making clothes with, with, that are basically walking billboards to inspire individuals to maximize their life and, and just be better people. And that's what we want to wear. We want to send a message of hope and inspiration to people. You know, uh, so please help us do that. Again, you can go to comingsoonjesus.org. If you are a creative, if you are a painter, an author, or anything like that, and you need help getting your stuff out, please contact me at duke at comingsoonjesus.org. That's duke at comingsoonjesus.org. And my job is to, of course, put your stuff on the website. Uh, the, the Coming Soon Jesus website is now like an Amazon site. We have over 50,000 items, and it's all designed to, to empower men and women of God uh, and give you guys an opportunity to get your books and, and paintings and things like that written. We want to build kingdom culture, a culture where it's our theme, it's our concept that we build other creative men and women of God out who God has so many different ways of expressing himself through people. And we want to put that on display. So that's the new coming soon, Jesus.org uh, website. And I hope you guys have a chance to go and check that out. Uh, of course, we, we, we promote other ministries, uh, businesses, all, all that stuff. We, we're here for you guys. That like This is why we do what we do. We want to build a successful culture of faith-based uh, businesses and men and women, women of God. So please, please, you know, consider being a part of that. Uh, we want you to, we want you to, you know, what I've noticed is a lot of believers throw in the towel when it comes to their dreams and goals, much like other people. But the reason why it's so terrifying is because what happens is there's a tenacity that you need to have 
when you are a visionary or a man or woman of God, there's a tenacity that you need to have to push forward. Uh, even when everyone else doubts you and, and doesn't understand what you're doing, when everyone else you know is confused about you, you know, you gotta push forward. You gotta have that tenacity uh, to move forward. No matter what people think, no matter what people say, you have to have the tenacity to say, you know what, I know God called me to this, I'm gonna do this, uh, which is one of the reasons why we are releasing Worlds Collide. That's right, folks. Worlds Collide. Uh, I got a team from L.A. coming in right now. Uh, we're scoping the land. Uh, and Worlds Collide is going to be the world's most diverse and united music and cultural arts festival. That's right, folks. Uh, the Worlds Collide Music and Arts Cultural Festival is coming. So be praying for us as we... Uh, get closer to making that happen. It is a documentary, a docu series about uh, Christian music and the divide, racial division in the body of Christ. That is coming to an end. Uh, we want to show people that the body of Christ is coming together, that the body of Christ is in the community, that the body of Christ is making a difference. The media doesn't want to tell that story. And this is why it's so important for you to Help us keep Current FM on the air because this is one of the only radio stations that's not going to sit here and sit back and play nice. We're going to talk about the things that need to be talked about, and we need you to help us share what we're doing. We need you to, to post. We need you to tell everybody, hey, go to Current FM. Listen to CurrentFM.com. You know, go to the website. Like us on Facebook. Um, we're here to be a servant to the community. You know, our goal, our goal is not to be famous. Our, our goal is not to be famous. Our goal is to be effective. We want to make a difference in your life. We want to make sure that when you wake up and you got your coffee, that you're also getting pumped up for God, that you're getting pumped up with truth, that you're making decisions that's going to change the rest of your life. That you're making decisions that's going to empower you and empower be a platform for your children. We want to see you prosper. We want to prosper with you. So please consider going to Current FM and uh, you know whatever God puts on your heart, do that. Um, we'd love to see you, of course, at uh, Living Haven Mall. You know, uh, please make a you know come by and just take a picture with us or hang out with. We we love to meet. Our current FM family, we love it when you guys stop by. A lot of you guys come by the kiosk and you know and hang out with us, and we we really do appreciate that. Um, now, this past weekend, I made some posts on Facebook because I was extremely discouraged. You know, I saw the amount of people that were in the mall, and I saw people making you know ten thousand dollars in a day and all types of stuff. And I think the kids uh, and myself, yeah, I saw, you know, we had maybe about, <laughs> it's really bad. It's, it's a really bad weekend. It was really bad. Um, and the reason why it wasn't so much about the sales. I saw how much idolatry has taken over our nation. And to the point where the, the, the part that confused me the most was like, but the, the holiday is for Jesus. The, 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 even if it's not that Jesus was born on December 25th, whatever, that's fine. But it's the fact that the holiday is for Jesus. That's the part that creeps me out. That's the part that creeps me out. It's like, wait a minute. How did everything become more important than the Messiah? How did everything become more important than focusing on the fact that God sent his son, you know, we love our John 316, but the day that we're supposed to, that, that we're traditionally supposed to, and just used to worshiping God, how did it become about something else so harshly? How did that happen? That's something we got to ask ourselves. So anyway, I want you guys to understand that we love you so much. Uh, make sure you go to currentfm.com and, uh, I want to play this song for you guys. And I can't play the song because the computer's acting up. Okay, that's cool. 
Um, but I still want you guys to know that everything that we do, uh, we do it for the for you guys. We want you guys to 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 know for without a doubt that we love you very much. So I want to encourage you. Uh, I want to encourage you guys to stay focused on who God is. Stay focused on what God can do in your life. Just stay focused on God. Let's just do that. Let's just stay focused on God. All right. Uh, and and I want you guys to know something. Uh, you're never alone. So no matter what's going on in the holiday, do not be in your head. You know, if you, if you feel like you're alone, go find someone to love. Go find someone to hang out with. Go find a homeless person to make a difference in their life and, you know, share life with them. And, you know, but don't just sit around and feel like you're all alone. All right. Love you guys. Not enough time to be everywhere I need to be. Something doesn't feel right. Looking at all of these.